I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Uh, I will continue talking about uh, triangles, in particular uh, about exterior angles of the triangle. Um, well, first of all, what is exterior angle? Well, consider you have a triangle, and these angles are for obvious reason, called interior angles. Well, exterior angle is something different. Consider you are um, extending one of the sides beyond the vertex in some direction. Then the continuation of this side with one other side from the same vertex actually makes an angle which is called exterior. Now, if I will uh, extend this particular side, this is also exterior angle. By the way, equal to the first one, because they're vertical. Now, similarly, I can extend towards this direction, beyond this vertex, and have this angle as an exterior one, or extend this, this particular side and consider this angle as exterior. And finally, we have two other continuations and two other exterior angles, this and this. So, as you see, we have six different exterior angles, uh, and uh, they're, they're making pairs, actually, of equal to each other uh, congruent angles, because they are vertical. Now, let's talk about one particular property of exterior angle. Um, and let me just leave one of those six, we don't need all six. Okay. So, let's say we have a triangle called ABC, and we have extended uh, line AC, side AC, beyond vertex C to a point D, and we consider exterior angle BCD. Uh, now the theorem about the exterior angle. So the theorem is that any exterior angle is greater than any of the interiors not supplemental to it. So the supplemental for this exterior is this. So we are not considering this supplemental interior angle. We are considering two other angles, and the theorem states that any one of those is smaller than this. All right. Now let's talk about the proving of this. Since we are trying to be as rigorous as possible in this course, I will um, present a proof which is actually first time presented by Euclid in, in one of his books. Uh, 300 years BC. Um, now, uh, first let me just explain how the whole logic actually goes, and then I will comment on it. So, here is what uh, Euclid has offered as, as a proof of this statement. Well, let's take the middle point of BC and connect with A and go further, this is E, to point F for a distance equal to AE, and connect these two. All right. Now, uh, Euclid suggested to consider these two triangles, this one and this one. So, the statement is, they are equal because BE equals to EC, since E is the middle point of BC. So, these two sides of these two triangles uh, are congruent segments. Now, since AE and EF also are segments of the same size, because we have um, 
made this, that, that's the way how we constructed the point F. We measured this distance AE, uh, and on the continuation of AE, just put the F in the same distance. So this is also uh, congruent segments, sides. And obviously, this angle is, these angles are vertical, and that's why they are equal. So both triangles are congruent to each other by side angle side axiom. Fine. This is done. No problem with that. Next statement is, because these two triangles are equal, congruent, uh, I'm always mixing equal, equality and congruence. Anyway, because they are congruent, uh, we can say that the corresponding angles are, are also congruent. Corresponding to this angle B is this angle. Oh, uh, angle A, C, F. So, instead of proving that the exterior angle E, C, G is greater than angle A, B, C, uh, we will prove that it's bigger than E, E, C, F, this angle, which is equal to this. How do we do that? Well, here is where logic um, offered by Euclid might have certain questions. He said the following. Since the point F lies inside the angle BCD, ray CF makes an angle with CB part of the entire angle DCB or BCD. So this angle is part of this angle. And that's why, since it's part of the, uh, of, of the exterior angle, it's smaller, and that's why the exterior angle is bigger than B, uh, which was supposed to be proven. Well, this logic is not like exactly 100% rigorous, because we have to really talk about what does it mean for a point to be inside the angle. Uh, we also have to elaborate on um, the question of a part being smaller than the whole. Like this particular angle, even if it's a part, why is it smaller than the bigger exterior angle? But I believe that these are um, very, uh, very kind of difficult nuances in logic, which I probably would not address right now. Euclid did not address them. And uh, it's probably sufficient to uh, just take this explanation as it is without getting very uh, strict on, on, on rigorousness of these concepts of point being inside the angle. We kind of understand what it is. And uh, I would like you, with, with me, forgive Euclid for uh, this, well, more intuitive rather than 100% rigorous proof. But it's an interesting uh, kind of standpoint, and it probably would be uh, interesting to put the whole uh, proof on a more rigorous foundation. But that is not actually our purpose. Since our purpose is to exercise the brain, this is enough for an exercise. So we have proven, almost proven, that exterior angle ECG is greater than ABC, interior angle, not supplemental visit. Now, similarly, we can prove that uh, this angle, BAC, is also smaller. Uh, for this purpose, we actually have to draw a slightly different picture, and instead of considering this exterior angle, we can consider this exterior angle, and then compare it with A, and build slightly different uh, triangles. Instead of going this way, it will go from B through the center of AC to this point. That would be point F. So anyway, the proof will be exactly the same in this particular case, and we will prove that 
this angle is equal to, to this one, which is part of the exterior angle. Exactly the same type of watch. So that's why exterior angle, uh, either this or, or this, and they are equal to each other, um, exterior angle is always bigger than uh, any interior not supplemental to it. Basically, it's a very, very short and uh, very simple theorem. just requires one additional construction drawing. Um, however, what's interesting is that this particular theorem has a lot of very important implications. Um, and for instance, one of the simplest implications is that in a, in, in a right triangle, uh, both uh, angles, which are not the right angle, both non-right angles are acute. Why? Because exterior angle is also 90 degree, and it's bigger than these guys. That's why they are smaller than 90 degree. Same thing if it's not a right triangle, but an obtuse triangle. Again, this is, since it's obtuse, this angle is greater than 90 degree, so this one is smaller than 90 degree, but still they are even smaller, that's why they're also acute. So these are just two little consequences. Well, that's it for this little uh, theorem. I would like to, uh, to mention again unizor.com as the site where uh, parents might find it, uh, uh, some very uh, useful techniques for supervising education of their children. Uh, they can uh, enroll them in certain uh, lessons or programs or lectures and uh, have them take exams and check the scores and even participate in like passing or failing this or that particular uh, educational material. So I do recommend to go to the site. It has lots of very interesting material. Well, that's it for today. Thank you very much.